hello and welcome everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video i'm going to show you how you can install a windows server in esxi as a vm right so i mean so for the first uh, uh, criteria is you should have the esxi up and running okay after that what you need to do is go to the virtual machines and create and um, a registered vm but before that, make sure you have the ISO image downloaded and transferred to the data store. So for me, it is already in my data store. You can see this is a 6.9 GB of uh, image you can, which you can directly download from your um, uh, Windows uh, uh, portal. Free, uh, it's free and you can have a evaluation period of six months, which is 180 days. So you can just go here and download Windows so uh, uh, data center I'm downloading and you can just go to the windows server whatever you want 16 19 um, so I'm, I'm just downloading the 16 one just directly go here and uh, you can just download the uh, server here download the ISO directly from here and this should basically start the download and uh, yeah you have to register with the name and all and then you have to say download just like that say something double and then download just this okay now you go here you choose the language I mean, for me it is English right so I'll go for the 64 bit version and the download has started so once you have this ISO downloaded then you go ahead and uh, copy this into your uh, this um, I mean upload it to your uh, data store once you have this ready then let's move on to the next step which is go to the virtual machine Create and register a VM. Create a new virtual machine. Next, name this as oh, whatever you like, right? Something like this. Okay. Compatibility. Choose uh, uh, the the latest one. OS obviously Windows, and the guest OS is going to be whatever you are going to um, select, right? I mean, install. So uh, for me, it's 2016 and then enable the virtualization uh, space security settings. Now choose the data store where you want to install. I have the data store two, which has a space to install the um, uh, the windows. Or I can go and uh, install it on my SSD. Okay, next. Assign a number of CPUs to this. I will assign, let's say eight and then I will assign memory of let's say 16 GB okay and this should be hard disk of let's say only 60 GB I don't need a uh, 90 and the networking is uh, on my VM uh, network now the most important part is the ISO so here you just select the data store ISO and then go to your data store and select this okay after this hit next and then finish so that's all the VM has been created now we have to go through the uh, the installation steps for that we have to turn on this VM and then like you install the windows on any system you have to uh, basically follow the prompts and the wizard Hit next, install now. The setup is starting. Okay, so I'm going for the desktop experience, which means with the GUI, you just, if you just want to install the CLR version, you can just install the standard evaluation. 
for me I'm going for the desktop version hit next with the GUI I accept the and then you will go for the custom install and then select the hard disk that is the 60 GB that I created apply ok and then you will go for the next and now wait for the uh, setup to complete all the files to be installed and copied to the virtual hard disk Okay, so the system has restarted. Now uh, we'll wait for this uh, to come up and then follow the next steps. Let it boot a couple of times and then finally um, it should ask you for the initial setup. Now this is uh, almost done, I guess. Yep. Yes, so it's asking for the password. Let's keep a password which is like I can remember and uh, match the two passwords and then control alt and delete so that I can go and enter. Okay, and finally, I am logged into my windows server 2016 and if i can go and run the i mean ncpa dot cpl because i think i am running a, a dhcp here so i want to basically have a static ip here uh, And I'll point the gateway and the DNS also to my gateway and the secondary DNS of uh, Google. And that's all I need. Okay, great. Now I can go and mostly I should be able to ping um, any internet uh, address and also I should be able to, yes, I should be able to uh, resolve any. DNS name so do like this yeah so this is both working that's great and I can enable the uh, what do you say the RDP and uh, but I mean do RDP and then uh, access the full screen as a full fledged uh, what do you say uh, system right instead of having this in a small window now you can see on the left hand side you can see that uh, if you want to disable this you can disable this as well uh, go to the internal options and disable this now you can see here 2016 evaluation is 180 days so that's great for practicing 180 days is more than sufficient and um, that's all um, so that's all for this video guys i hope you like the uh, video you know how to install the uh, windows server on the asxi so uh, that should be all and I will see you in the next lecture until then bye bye take care